Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. This video is going to be about painting the black stripes and the black details on the Saturn 1B. From the pattern sheets, print out all the different sides in their labeled position 1 through 4. Uh, this is for the S4B stage. There's also one for the bottom stage for the fins and the upper stage. So that's what you're going to use as a guide. If you're on the Apogee website, um, you can go to the Saturn 1B page. Um, just put in the Saturn 1B in the search field in the search bar and that will take you to the Saturn 1B page. Um, and then at the top of the page, you can download the templates, and that's what these are here. That's what you're going to need to know where black is and white. Now, the hardest part on this paint job is painting the corrugations. There are so many ups and downs that it's very tedious to paint this, and this is going to be the hardest step. So take your time, do it right. Now, since I've built this rocket, before, uh, the last time I made instructions for these was about 2001, so that's been close to 20 years ago, and I've been searching for new techniques that will make it easier. Um, unfortunately, the old techniques work just as well, so if you have old Saturn V or Saturn 1B instructions, those will work fine. I'm going to deviate a little bit, but not too much. What you're going to need, as far as supplies go, you're going to need a Sharpie pen, with the little fine point tip. And I also found these little paint um, pens and these have the little rattle inside and they're, they're full of liquid paint. Um, you can find these at an artist supply store, maybe like a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby, or you can get them online at Amazon. Um, and I really like this one and it's acrylic paint and it's also a flat black so it comes out really nice. Um, you can see on this one right here I just painted this area just with this little paint pen and it came out pretty good so theoretically if you didn't mind not having perfectly smooth texture which you get from spray paint this would be a good alternative then you can do the whole rocket like this if you really wanted to. It's a little bit tedious but it can be done. Um, the technique that we're going to do, and this is my test piece, this is my good one over here that I'm going to do, is you need to take a strip of paper, a long strip of paper that has at least one straight edge, and we're going to wrap that around the tube, and I'll do it around this side so you can see it. Um, incidentally, um, I found it so much easier to wrap the paper around if all the details, like the, the retro rocket fairings, if you don't put those on, it's easier to paint this. Um, so I may go back and amend that video to say, don't put those on yet. We'll put them on later because it makes uh, putting the black paint on so much easier. So you'll take your strip of paper and you'll wrap it around. And take a piece of masking tape. Make sure that edge lines up. Kind of pull it as tight as you can without damaging anything. Tape it there. And then you're going to slide it up or down depending on where you want it to go on your rocket. Um, then you're going to tape it in place so it doesn't move. Like that. Then you're going to take your Sharpie and this is what you're going to, what it's going to give us that nice sharp edge. Um, we're just going to take it and we're just going to go up and down. The little ridges like that. It's going to give us a nice sharp line. Okay. And then once you do that around the entire perimeter, um, then we're going to take the paint and we're going to 
color, so let's say this part needs to be black, so I'll color on this side of the line, staying just a hair away from that sharpie edge, because I want to leave that nice sharp edge. And I want to go down approximately about an, um, an eighth to a quarter of an inch. Okay, so you're going to have a nice sharp edge. And this stuff, it dries flat. And so if you look here on this one here, this is what we want it to end up looking like. So here's the Sharpie line, and then here is with the paint pen. Now, a lot of people will try different techniques, and let me show you what happens when you do it wrong. So here, I took the, um, oh, okay, here, this one right here is just the paint pen itself without the Sharpie. And you can see the line is pretty straight, but not crisp straight. Um, so that's why I want to use the Sharpie to make that nice sharp edge. And then we'll use the paint pen later to put a nice fat band. Um, this is, I put down tape, tried to put it into the grooves. Um, and I used, um, I both used Tamiya tape, which is some of the best stuff. Um, you can also get um, automotive tape for pinstriping. Um, this is called automotive refinishing masking tape. Um, I keep it in a bag just to keep the edges from getting all dusty. Um, again, you can order this stuff online. Amazon sells it cheap, so you can get that there. Um, so this was using the paint pen with masking tape and you can see the you can never get the, the paper tape into those crevices like you want. Um, and so when I put the paint down with the paint pen and peeled up the tape, this is what was left. Basically the capillary action of the liquid paint got underneath the tape and left a mess. So you don't want to do that. Um, the reason we're going to we're going to have a nice wide band is when we do mask this off, uh, we're going to put our tape over the top of it like this, so that this is painted black and this is, remains white. Um, that way, if any paint gets underneath, you know, as long as we can keep it out, you know, an eighth of an inch is enough to keep the paint from going underneath. So we're going to put that down to keep it the overspray from going underneath, uh, particularly if you're using rattle cans. Um, for the little antennas, we can go around the perimeter with the paint pen. When we get to the antennas right here, we can draw around them using the paint pen. And then what we're going to do when we go to paint the whole thing black with the black spray paint, we'll use some liquid mask to mask over those. And I'll show you how to use that as well. So that's the basic technique. Um, so now uh, we'll go ahead and start masking this off and getting it ready to paint.
To draw that straight line there across these ribs, I put small tick nut marks with a pencil and then I'm going to use this as my straight edge and I'll just connect the dots going over the top is going to be the hard part. At this point, I'm done putting the black around the perimeter, and it looks kind of weird, uh, but this area right in here will be black. And so the sharp edges are on the opposite side. So if you look into the corners, like right here, you can see that these are nice and sharp. Also up here, I did go around the antennas as best as I could. Um, and I've started masking it off. Um, I've got a paper towel down because at this point the rocket is really nice and I don't want to scuff it up. So I'm trying to protect my work surface with something that has a little bit more padding than just the flat table. Um, and I've started masking and in the middle here I've masked it using a plastic sheet. Um, when you're doing big areas use plastic because it's a lot cheaper than using tape. Um, the hard part is going to be trying to mask around these areas here and for that we're going to use uh, liquid masking which you can get at a hobby store or Amazon I'm sure. And it's a water soluble plastic so um, when you look at it it just looks like a liquid and it's bluish color. Uh, when it dries it leaves a thin film um, and that can be pulled off after you're done painting. The caveat with this stuff is it can only be used with petroleum-based paints. So if you're using a water-based paint, you're going to have problems because the water in this mixture is going to attack and dissolve your water-based paints. Or if you spray water-based paint on top of it, um, that water will again dissolve this and make a mess so your paint will get through. So it can only be used with petroleum-based paints. If you're using water-based paints, I don't really have a good option for you. Um, just mask as good as you can. Uh, using this stuff is rather easy. Um, you'll just take a small paintbrush, dip it in, and then just paint over the top of these areas here. Um, the only downside of this stuff is, even though it has a blue tint to it, when it's really thin, you can't hardly see it, but you know it's there. Um, so when I'm painting, I'm actually getting a little bit on the black, and that's what I want to do, because I want to uh, protect those edges as much as I can. But I'm trying to put it on a little bit thick so I can see the blue color. And now this edge here, I'm also going to paint that. Uh, because what it's going to do is it's going to seal the edge to keep the paint from going underneath because right here on this edge here you can actually stick your knife under it. Um, so if your knife can go under it, paint, when you spray paint, is going to go under it. So we need to get something in there to prevent the paint from going in. So um, normally I would actually put the the tape on top of the black, but in this case right here, I've got such a thin area of black that I don't have a lot of room to put the white or the masking tape down. So I'll, t I'll paint on both sides of that black line. So I'm painting the antenna here, and I'll be painting along the line. And this will take several hours to dry. Um, you can hit it with a hair dryer or put a fan on it to try to dry it a little bit faster. That does work. Um, so I got a lot to do here. And on this area back here on the back of the rocket, so this is going to be white, so I need to mask that off. So again, I'll just put the masking tape along the edges. Over here on this side, I will overlap a little bit onto the black. So my masking tape will actually cover the black. 
And then um, here on this edge, I do have to paint along it with the um, liquid masking uh, again because the paint can go underneath there. Um, I wish I would have left off the retro rocket fairings. Um, it would have made masking easier, but again, I'll just bring the masking tape around and I'll just cover over some of my black. Um, the reason we put down that black is so that we could have that nice sharp edge. Um, and so that's what we're trying to save. We're trying to preserve that nice sharp edge. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, and then we're ready for paint and we're going to spray paint it with uh, flat black, hopefully to match that same color that we used in the, uh, the paint pens. At this point, the entire stage has been masked off and it's ready for paint. Um, you can see that I did bring the tape over onto the black to try to keep it from going underneath. And on the front edges where there's these ribs um, to prevent the paint from going under, I used the liquid masking. Um, the only thing that I don't like about the li liquid masking is that it's hard to remove. Um, after you paint it, you have to get a little knife in there and pry it up, and you'll see that uh, once it is painted. Um, I also gone ahead and painted the service module a silver color, um, and then we can start masking this off here a little bit later too. At this point, I have put all the black on there along the edges, and it's ready for paint. Um, so my next task is to mask off the white areas and when you mask off remember to mask over onto the black so that when you spray paint it doesn't get underneath and go onto the white. So this is what it looks like so far.